Well, I guess the time has finally come. My name is Bernie. Uh, Peter, I want to thank you for all you've done. Uh, you are a pioneer. And um, <clears throat> whatever got you into this in the first place, I will never understand. Because when you did, you must have had nothing but kids and hip-hop artists and whatnot. And for you to feel that you fit in was just absolutely great. I don't know how you did it. I admire you tremendously. And then came the time with the empty chair. And you scared the day living daylights out of us. We thought we lost you. But um, along came Jim Sand for a little while. And he started fumbling in the beginning. And then he got to be more and more professional. And today, he is too professional, really. I think, uh, Jim, you ought to get back to um, what this was all about in the first place, a story about your life. And that was interesting. And I think you should do that again. Uh, as for you, Peter, you stuck with it, and uh, I like that backdrop, I like that wallpaper, and don't change it, please don't. Just stick with it, and your principles, and the fact that you don't like the press, well, that's wonderful. <laughs> I feel the same way. Now, I thought, um, I've been advised by a lot of people, and they said, well, Bernie, you've got an interesting background, why don't you uh, try this as well? I was kind of scared about this, I don't want to lose my um, anonymity. And, um, of course, that's going to happen sooner or later. But I thought I'd give it a try. About my background, um, I, too, am 79 years old. But um, I'm fortunate in the sense that I still have my wife. We've been married 52 years, and it's still a honeymoon. I couldn't be happier. So I really feel sorry for you, too, about uh, your loss. As for um, the rest, I think we got a lot of things in common. First of all, the uniform. By that, I mean the scrawny neck. I mean the hairdo, no hair, with a little tuft here and there. And um, so I think I'll fit right in as far as that goes. Now, um, my uh, background is such that I left the continent in um, 1951. I, I was on a ship that left uh, Southampton in 1951 in July. And I went to Canada. I had a one-way ticket, I had no money, and I had no way of getting back. But I had no intention of getting back anyway. Um, eventually, in 1959, by that time, I have gotten married, and um, we left for the States. And uh, we've been in the States ever since. As for the war years, um, my life was a little different. I did actually participate in combat at the very end of the Battle of the Bulge. And it uh, was a very, in, very unpleasant experience, and I, quite frankly, I'm not too crazy about uh, talking about it. Certainly not for a while, until we get to know each other a lot better. And um, I was a prisoner of war as well, and y you know, those, those kind of things um, linger around for a while, and you don't really want to open up old wounds. So. I'm going to stay away from that for a while. I also don't want to be too controversial in the beginning, so let's stay away from politics and let's stay away from religion and the rest won't hurt. Um, I have a little bit of a warped sense of humor and sometimes it's a little black, and uh, but that might make the stories a bit lively. When I was in Canada, I had some incredible uh, adventures. I, um, I went up to... Uh, the boonies and uh, worked as a laborer and earned 60 cents an hour and uh, I can tell you a lot about those stories. But for now, all I want to do really, this should be a um, thank you for to Peter and to Jim. And um, also there was a gal by the name of, or the handle, is Grandma Me. Now Grandma Me is responsible as well for getting me into this. Uh, I think she's trying to get a camera as well and maybe she'll join us too. But um, I'm looking forward to um, talking to her. Now, um, guys, for now, I think I should uh, let this be my, my experiment. And uh, when it's done, I will look it over. And besides, now, another thing, I don't want to do this too often. I want to do it no more than once a week, maybe once every two weeks. And I'm going to do one more before October. And then in October, I will take off four weeks. We'll do absolutely nothing. And I will sit back and see how this thing is gelled up to then, whether there's any serious interest and whether I should really continue. So let's leave it at that for now. 
And let me just have a look at my list and see if I left anything out. I want to include pictures only if they are relevant to the story, and music only if it's relevant to the story. That is, if I go to Canada, it could be Canadian music. If it's military, it could be martial music as an introduction, that sort of thing. And maybe at the end of the story, I'd like to give you some sort of a teaser, or um, you could call it homework if you want. At the end of this story, I will give you one word, and that is uh, one, one concept, and that is Watson Lake. Watson Lake. Now, um, you want to look this up on Google, and that might give you an inkling of what you may face next time. Um, as, for my, as for my childhood, that too is something in the future. I don't want to talk about this now. My life now begins at 1951, and that's what I will start telling you. So for now, hasta la vista. See you next time.